The world of industrial technology has always seen the gear unit as a vital piece of engineering equipment. The success of the gearbox lies in its usefulness. Gearboxes are geared mechanical transmissions that transmit the movement of a motor to the machine they are applied, and they reduce the speed so that it's best suited to the role it's being used in. While they reduce the speed, they also multiply the force applied, known technically as torque. Bicycle gears are the most common example. The cyclist can use the same effort to cover endless distances quickly or climb the steepest alpine passes. The convenience of being able to drive large machines with small motors makes the reducing gear the most logical, reliable and economic way of transmitting power. Now let's see just how this star of the engineering world works. An electric or hydraulic motor is attached at the far right, while at the shaft on the left-hand side, we see that all this energy has been transformed into low-speed torque. The gearbox is made from extremely strong materials because huge forces are converted inside it. Just imagine moving the rudder of a cruise liner during a maneuver, or a large container crane, or the excavators used to dig tunnels for an underground railway system. There are four families of gearboxes. Warm gear units, this technology has no real potential for further development, and they have become standardized over-the-counter products where price and delivery times determine market success. Gear motors, often used in light applications, comprise an electric or hydraulic motor linked to a reducer. This system has proved to be both compact and versatile. Parallel shaft and right-angle gears are a well-established technology in large reducers. They're often used for industrial applications that demand high power and continuous cycle working. They still form the largest sector of the market, representing over 30% of global demand. But the planetary gearbox is the real cutting edge of this sector, and it's been enjoying growing success since the 1980s. There are two members of the planetary gear family, the fixed ring gear for industrial applications and the rotating ring for self-propelled applications, like wheeled or tracked vehicles. As the word itself suggests, the gearbox should reduce the speed of an input drive shaft to provide a low rotation speed with high torque at the output, at the opposite end. In the fixed ring planetary gear, the input shaft, called the sun gear, turns three gear wheels called planets. These, in their turn, rotate inside a tooth fixed ring called a ring gear. The planets are mounted on the planet carrier, and this turns more slowly than the original speed of the sun gear. As a result, the output shaft fixed to the planet carrier also turns at a reduced rate. Rotating ring gear reducers are constructed in the same way. The difference lies in the fact that the planets and planet carrier driven by the input shaft, the sun gear, turn the ring gear. The ring gear is fixed to the wheel on the shell propel vehicle and allows it to move at reduced speed. In both cases, if we add another stage of planetary reduction, we create what's called a two-stage gearbox, and so on. Gearboxes with fixed ring gear allow us to achieve a reduction ratio of 7000 to 1 or 200 to 1 with rotating ring gear. The planetary system has four main strains. It's an innovative system for both industrial machinery and self-propelled vehicles. It can provide the same performance as traditional technology at lower levels of size, weight and cost. Thirdly, it's exceptionally good at transmitting power torque, especially in applications with low revolution speeds. Finally, it's extremely flexible and can adapt to an immense range of operational needs. A planetary gearbox can be manufactured on a made-to-measure basis to answer the requirements of the specific installation it will be used on.